I'm Mr. O, here with another oh, wow. moment at the Children's Museum of Houston. Ever been at a restaurant waiting for your food with nothing really to do? Well, that's not entirely accurate. There's a ton of science you can do at your standard dinner table. Take this class, for example. We can make it sing. Let's get experimenting. Before we begin, remember, science is fun, but it can also be dangerous, so always have a responsible adult helping you. We're working with glass today, so make sure to be extra careful with it, and if any should crack or break, immediately get an adult to help clean it all up. Now, wine glasses work best, but just about any stemware will do the trick. Finally, crystal makes fantastic sound, but Glass is a lot less expensive and a lot less likely to break, so I'd stick with that if I were you. And most importantly, get your parents' permission before doing this, especially in a restaurant. Fill the wine glass about halfway with water. Dip your finger into the water, then run your finger along the rim of the glass. It may squeak at first, but adjust your speed and pressure and eventually it will start singing. The reason you hear the tone is because of vibrations in the glass. When I run my finger along the edge of the glass, my finger first pulls on the glass, warping it so slightly that you can't really see it. Then my finger slips free, allowing the glass to return to its original shape. This stick slip occurs hundreds of times very quickly, causing vibrations. If you look closely at the water while the glass is making noise, you can see waves inside the water. That's a result of the vibrations. Another interesting phenomenon relating to singing glasses is sympathetic resonance. That's where the tone being created in one glass can make a second glass vibrate. To see this, you'll need two glasses filled with water so they make pretty much the same tone. Place the two glasses close together. Put a piece of straw onto the second glass. Now make the first glass sing and you'll see the straw move. Because both glasses have the same tone, the vibrations from one glass travel through the air and cause the second glass to vibrate as well. Those vibrations are what make the straw move. Ever heard of an opera singer that can shatter a glass just using their voice? Well, it's the same idea. It's still sympathetic resonance. They hit a tone that's the same vibration as the glass, causing it to vibrate. The difference is they hit such a high volume that the glass vibrates so tremendously that it actually cracks and shatters. Now, the only people I know to have actually filmed this are the Mythbusters, but their singer hit 105 decibels. That's roughly the same as a power saw or a motorcycle engine. Since I can't hit the tone, or the volume, I think I'm just gonna stick with this. This has been another Oh Wow moment from the Children's Museum of Houston. We hope your mind can come out to play.